well, it's Monday. And I don't feel like doing too much. I've done a few things with my trolleys. A while back, I've rediscovered a pouch that used to have makeup in it, cosmetic bag. And it was black vinyl with a felt backing. Oh my god. It was so gorgeous. It was soft, squishy. So I ended up making troll clothes out of it. And here's the first thing I made. It's quite a large skirt. With a, that's called um, rhinestone mesh. And you can cut it to any, any size strip. I just glued it on. I wouldn't pull on it too much. But it looks pretty good. It's Tamsin. And then I made one for this troll here, and let me try to get get her hand up. It's similar. I just I'm still working on that one, but it's you can't really see how. Oh, it feels so cool. It's vinyl, but it's so soft. But then I kept on uh, this little troll. I wanted her to have a different kind of kind of skirt. She's had a bit of a makeover. This one's definitely had a makeover. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's got a little vinyl skirt, but the hair has been redone. The hair was a little bit problematic because it had to be pulled, the fibers needed to be pulled out. There were five fibers. I'm going to try to turn it all the way around. There were five <laughs> per strand, and that's a lot of fibers to pull apart. And they're more like thread, if you can see, without getting a shadow. No, I can't get it without getting a shadow. So we'll do it. Still getting a shadow. So we'll do it this way. My chair is creaking. Try and do it that way. Yeah. Yeah, you see it's almost like a thread. Very interesting fiber. And it has, as you can probably see, some metallic bits in it. One thread out of five would have a metallic sheen. It literally has a bit of metal in it. You can't see it, it kind of sinks into the hair. But this little troll had, you know, I hate to say it, she had bad hair from the start and then I did a lot of things to it to try to make it better. The scalp is still eh, not the best. You can see the old remnants of the hair. But I gave her a very colorful hair jewelry. Made her a little skirt and now she's really cute. She's cute, and so is this one. Cute. I think they all are. So I got a lot out of, and I still may have a scrap or two of that vinyl. I loved working with it. It's like working with felt, but it had a lot of body to it. Felt is very stretchy. It's very... I don't like it. I use it because it doesn't ravel. But this is just... Oh, I wish I had yards and yards and yards of this stuff. Beautiful, but there's one more troll. I think she's looking really pretty now. He or she. Frodo. Look at Frodo. Frodo's looking absolutely gorgeous. I rediscovered the little pink cardigan. And that that was a dress. And I decided, no, I'm going to make that into a skirt. So I took the front part out. It turned out it had been sewn on. So I was able to just take it off. She looks so pretty. You can never decide if this is a girl or boy, but I don't care. That is such a nice outfit. Try to get more light on it. I can do this, but I always cast shadows. Hey, you look so pretty. Look at you. That pattern, I have to tell you this, I discovered it when my daughter Shannon, who is now 42, was a baby. I wanted to make her a nice little dress, and it was a mint green wool and it had the, the little metallic fibers in it so it was really pretty. I found this pattern so hard and when I look at my pattern book there's pages of little notes and things that I couldn't get it. When I tried to knit that now it is so easy. It is really really easy. So something happened in the interim I guess my knitting skills got better. And then there's these guys. I've also done something with these three that are pretty close. They're not identical, identical, but they're they were in a bowl. I thought I don't want a bowl of trolls anymore, so they're on different levels. You see, I'm always moving stuff around. I am like a little girl playing. I never really had a chance to be 
happy or young or anything. So I'm doing it now. I'm a pensioner. And I'm enjoying it. I don't really care who knows about it. I make videos. My family, a lot of them don't know about it. I don't want them to know. My daughter, the TV reporter, whom I knitted that that pattern for, by the time I finally finished it, she'd outgrown it. I don't think she ever wore it. That's kind of weird, isn't it? And all these years later, I'd be doing... I don't know whether to do a video on what I just ordered through the mail or through eBay. It's going to be really different. I won't even be a troll. But I may work it into my troll series just because I don't know if I want a whole series on, you know, these guys. They're not really in the same category. They're quite different. I like them. I don't spend very much. The one I like best so far is this little guy. He's got my little sweater on. And, oh, he's really cute. He's got a nice face. Some baby dolls have the creepiest, they really do, they have creepy faces. They try to have like expressions. And when you have an expression like an open mouth or laughter or crying, and it's completely frozen, that is creepy. So I like a more neutral doll expression just because it doesn't creep me out as much. Look at how nice those eyes are. So you really don't need to spend a lot to get a pretty decent little doll. You could give that to a little girl. Don't worry, I'm not going to start with real Reborns because I'm too broke. This one is similar to what they call a Beranger or Barongay. I don't know how to pronounce it. Certain type of baby doll. and These are the proportions. They're sort of chubby and fat with big heads. I like it. What I like most of all is she can wear the dress that I knitted. I knitted that a long time ago. It fits really nicely. And even the back, you see? It's cute. So, that's my side hustle. And we'll see what happens with it.